Are you interested in creating artwork with spray cans? Well, this video is for you. Um, this is part one of a two part video, yes. the 12 most important to me, uh, spray painting tips for beginners. For those of you who have visited my channel before, welcome back. For those of you who have not visited my channel before, I'm Jenna Rice. I am a muralist based in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, I, ha I do projects um, all over this area for uh, businesses, indoors and outdoors. Um, I've learned a whole lot along the way. I kind of taught myself how to spray paint over the past year and a half or so, a um, couple years. And um, I really just wanted to um, teach people, you know, the basics and uh, teach them kind of how I started and uh, kind of get you past all of this trial and error that I had to go through to get to where I am today. Right. So the top 12 spray painting tips for beginners, part one. Tip number one, be aware of your surroundings and your environment. Um, so when you're spraying, a lot of overspray will happen. Um, things will get spray dust on them. Some things the spray dust will actually stick to, so you need to be really, really careful. Um, I like to cover all of the surroundings, um, if I'm indoors, with plastic. Um, if I'm outdoors, it doesn't matter as much, of course, but there are other things that you need to be careful about that I didn't really think about at the time. Uh, for instance, don't be me and leave your phone kind of laying out or, you know, in your hand, you know, when you're not supposed to have it too close to the can. Um, the spray dust will get in there and then you'll never be able to hear a phone call again. Um, I did get a new phone, so that's good, but don't do that. Um, also, be sure to like cover your drinks. If you're drinking anything, this is kind of a safety issue. Um, I believe I covered this in my spray paint safety video that you can click on right there um, if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, if you're drinking like an energy drink, you know, Red Bull, this Bang Energy drink, this is really good by the way. I really, I really enjoy this. It's, it's called Rainbow Unicorn. It tastes like sprinkles. I like it. Anyway, ADD. So again, environment is important be able to cover everything um wear clothing that you don't care about i'm wearing a super old ratty sweater that is my favorite painting sweater um because anything that you're wearing is bound to get paint on it even if you try really really hard not to all right now for tip number two mask up i mean obviously so there are different kinds of masks that you can wear of course um, don't wear a COVID mask, that's just dumb. No, you can't, uh, that, that won't actually protect you from the chemicals. Like you need a mask that will protect you from specific chemicals. Um, I did talk about this in my spray paint safety video briefly, but I do want to do a new video sometime soon about the different kinds of masks and um, I guess the durability and the longevity of them and that sort of thing. Um, kind of diving deep into the, the uh, uh, bigger details of the situation. But yeah, be sure to wear your mask, make sure it's nice and tight, you know. Also, if you're inside, sorry, you probably can't hear me. Also, if you're inside, be sure to wear goggles or something to cover your eyes because there have been a few times where I'm spray painting and I'm kind of like doing a little thing on the ceiling, get a little dust in your eye or little paint droplets and that could probably affect you permanently, affect your eyesight per permanently and you do not want that to happen especially as an artist. Tip number three, two, three, three. Tip number three, be sure to check the surface that you're painting on. Um, so, I mean, there's brick, there are regular walls, there's plywood, there are all sorts of things. Just make sure that your surface does not have like a lot of dust or like, I don't know, spider webs, cobwebs, um, any sort of like material that can be just wiped off just make sure that your surface is clean and ready to paint on uh sometimes it's cool to like power wash the wall and wait for it to dry before you start painting um especially if it's outdoors um it will actually help the longevity of the painting um it will last so so much longer and your client will be much happier if it is a commission okay spray painting tip number four paint selection so there are so many different kinds of paint probably thousands of different kinds of paint that you could purchase to spray paint with. Um, I prefer, actually, I prefer uh, Montana Gold. Um, I do like this. Um, this does not mean that it is a gold paint. This is actually a blue. Um, I will have another video sometime soon about 
the different kinds of paint that I like to use personally and you know um, give you a little more details about that but so this is um, a high quality acrylic spray paint it's acrylic based um, another really popular one that I like to use is a uh, 94 MT 94 um, so you could use either either of these together because they're both acrylic spray paints um, what I would also recommend is do not mix different kinds of paint like if you have um, an enamel based or even if it's like enamel and acrylic mixed base or you know whatever that you can buy like Home Depot or something like the cheaper kind of spray paint um, don't mix that with this um, you could actually wind up making a very weird looking piece of art that might wind up peeling and giving you problems in the long run again I really will cover more about the different kinds of paint and the different kinds of paint that I like to use in a later video so tip number five I have really big hands ADD so okay tip number five be sure to shake the can as well as you can it's really really important you need to shake it and if it doesn't shake right away like this one might not no, I guess they're both shaking that's not the point I was trying to give you like a little demonstration on how sometimes they don't shake right away um, if the if the little ball on the inside you can hear the little ball if it's stuck and you're not hearing that little shaking noise if you're not hearing the shaking noise that means that that little ball is stuck and it needs to be really shaking really hard to get it loose sometimes what I like to do is I'll hit it against my shin which I actually have in a little kind of um, Instagram TikTok video thing that I put out a while back maybe like um, about a year ago or so a little less than a year ago actually but um but yeah be sure to shake them it says for one to two minutes I'll do it at least for 60 seconds um, but like kind of get the feel of it you can kind of feel that it still needs to be shaken if you, you know you feel the balls a little bit you know working really hard to go back and forth but be sure to shake it really hard really well shake it upside down shake it side to side and shake it the regular way and um, if it has a cap on it maybe shake it without the cap on just in case you accidentally spray or something but definitely shake it as well as you possibly can and also do a test spray so shake and test so you have to just test a little area just to make sure that um, the spray paint is good. I have actually bought a couple cans of paint in the past that maybe they were sitting in a warehouse for a really long time or something, but the tint was off. Like something like this was coming out like green. Um, it was very weird. Um, but I was able to return these cans to my paint shop um, very easily. Um, and yeah, so that's what I did. Also testing the spray can is also important because if it is the first spray of the can and it is a brand new can, um, it could spray just some like gooey nonsense prior to actually spraying the color that you want. Um, and it's kind of gross and weird and it can like cause this like filmy stuff and it can totally destroy your mural. So uh, be sure to do a little test spray in the air or away from the mural or on a box or you know the ground whatever whatever you want to do do a little test spray um, and then begin your painting tip number six buff it baby all right so you need to make sure to buff your paint your painting surface and by buffing I mean like painting over like uh, priming uh, priming buffing you could even some rough surfaces you could even sand you can like lightly sand those but a lot of times you know when you're working on a mural and you know you're outdoors uh, it will be a surface that already has paint on it and it could be you know kind of sad and so you just just fix the wall make it make it so that it's not going to invisibly start peeling right away or if there are tons of layers of paint underneath it like at some cool hot graffiti spot that you've really been wanting to try um, just buff the wall just just put a little layer of house paint over it before you start using spray um, and that will save you a lot of spray in the long run um, the way that you layer colors makes a difference and that's kind of in the next video give you a little sneak peek um, but yeah so that's tip number six um, the next six tips will be in the next video so stay tuned for that all right so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, be sure to subscribe to Generous Art if you have not already. I hope to see you guys again soon. 
Now, uh, as I always say, remember to stay peaceful as a calm mind is a creative mind. Now go get inspired, be an influence, and make something beautiful today. Peace. I wonder if these guys would sponsor me. It's banging. <laughs>